quadratic equation, relationship between the roots and the coefficient. In previous videos, we have discussed solving quadratic equations by using factorization, completing the square and quadratic formula. In this video, we are going to discuss the relationship between the roots and the coefficients. And um, the relationship is expressed in the forms of the sum of roots and the products of roots. Let's begin our discussion with a simple example. Let's say we are given the roots of a quadratic equation is 2 and 3, and we are asked to find the quadratic equations. In the lessons where we discuss solving quadratic equations by using factorizations, we learn that we can solve for quadratic equations by rewrite the equations in the factors forms like this x minus a and x minus b equal to zero right okay so if we write a quadratic equations in the factors form like this we can straight away tell that the roots of the quadratic equations is x equal to a or x equal to b. Now, in these questions, the roots are 2 and 3. So let's write this down. So x equal to 2 or x equal to 3. Okay, so straight away, we can write this in the factors form. Uh, x minus 2 x minus 3 equal to 0 okay so you can see that this this actually is a reverse of this right okay these ones we have the quadratic equations we find the roots and this one we have the roots then we write the quadratic equations now um normally this is not what we want yet because normally when we write a quadratic equations we would like to write it in the general form okay so let's expand these two expressions um, so we have x here and x here, x multiplied by x, we have x squared. And then so x multiplied by negative 3, we have negative 3x, negative 2 multiplied by x, we have minus 2x, and negative 2 multiplied by negative 3, we have positive 6, and this is equal to 0. And then so we group the x terms together. That is uh, minus 5x and then uh, plus 6 equal to 0. Yes, this is the quadratic equations in general form with the roots 2 and 3. And this is how we form a quadratic equation from its roots. Let's summarize what we have learned just now. Let's say uh, given that uh, the roots of a quadratic equation is alpha and beta okay and we learn that we can strike away write the quadratic equations in the factors form x minus alpha and uh, x minus beta equal to zero and then we expand these two expressions we have x squared minus beta x minus alpha x plus alpha beta equal to zero. And then we can group the x terms together. Then we have uh, alpha plus beta x and then plus alpha beta equal to zero. Okay. Now uh, we can see that we have a sum of the roots here, and we have the products of the roots, products of the roots here, okay? Therefore, the quadratic equations will become x squared minus the sum of root x plus the products of roots equal to zero. Let's go back to the example just now. Uh, given that the roots of a quadratic equation is two and three, and therefore the sum of 
root is equal to 2 plus 3, which is equal to 5. And the products of root is equal to 2 multiplied by 3, which is equal to 6. And therefore, uh, the quadratic equation is x squared minus the sum of root, which is 5, minus 5x. So we still have an x here. And then we plus the products of roots. The product of roots is 6. 6 equal to 0. And this is the quadratic equations that we want. And you can see that if we uh, can remember this formula, we can form a quadratic equation from its roots much easier, right? Let's see a few more examples. 5 the quadratic equation with the roots negative 3 and 1 over 3 and uh, negative 2p, 1 over 3p and uh, 7 only. Let's start with a. So for uh, question a, the sum of root is equal to negative 3 plus 1 over 3. Okay, and this is equal to negative 2, 2 over 3, yeah? okay? Um, we can write this in uh, improper fractions. So it will become negative 8 over 3. And the products of root, products of root is equal to negative 3 multiplied by 1 over 3. And this is equal to negative one and therefore um, my quadratic equations will be x square minus the sum of roots the sum of root is negative 8 over 3 x and then plus uh, the products of roots my products of root is negative 1 so this is equal to 0 and therefore the quadratic equation is x square uh, minus the negative, we become plus, plus 8 over 3, x, and uh, plus the negative, we become minus, minus 1, equal to 0. And uh, this is the answer. If you don't like to, if you don't like to have a fractions as the coefficients, then uh, you can multiply these equations by 3. Yeah? We multiply these whole equations by 3, then it will become 3x squared, uh, plus 8x minus 3 equal to 0. Okay, so this is how we find or how we form a quadratic equation from its roots by using the sum of roots and the products of roots. Huh? Okay, now let's proceed to B. Yeah? Okay, so for B, the sum of root is equal to negative 2p plus 1 over 3p, okay? And uh, this is equal to negative 1, 2 over 3p, or uh, in improper fractions, it will be negative 5 over 3p, yeah? okay? And the products of root is equal to negative 2p and then it's multiplied by 1 over 3p. And uh, this is equal to negative 2 over 3p squared. Okay? And therefore, uh, my quadratic equations will be x squared minus the sum of root, which is equal to negative 5 over 3p. Yeah? So negative 5 over 3p. And then we have an x here. And then plus um, the products of roots, which is negative 2 over 3p squared. Negative 2 over 3p squared. Equal to 0. Okay. And then some... To eliminate the fractions, we multiply the whole equations by 3. Yeah? Okay, you can do this 
uh, if you want and if you don't like to do this you can leave your answer in the fraction form actually so I, I don't like to see the fractions here therefore I multiplied it by 3 yeah? so it becomes 3x squared 3x squared um, minus the negative become plus okay 5x I have already eliminated the 3 yeah? so it's a plus 5x and then um, plus a negative it become minus and I have after multiply by 3 I eliminate the 3 yeah? so it become negative 2p square p square equal to zero okay so this is a quadratic equations and uh how about the last one the c yeah? c okay now all quadratic equations has two roots uh. if this tell you that it has seven only means that both of the roots are seven uh. okay both of the roots are seven the alpha is equals to seven and the beta equals to seven uh. and therefore the sum of roots is equal to 7 plus 7 which is equal to 14 and the products of root is equal to 7 multiplied by 7 equal to 49 yeah? okay so therefore uh for c the quadratic equations will be x square minus the sum of root which is equal to 14 14 x and then plus the products of root which is equal to 49 yeah? 49 equal to zero and this is the answer okay we can form a quadratic equations easily from the roots if if we remember the the formula and the formula is x square minus the sum of roots x plus the products of roots equal to zero